Dawn breaks on the northern end of Priest Lake on a quiet July morning, casting a golden glow on the water. A lone angler fishes off the point of the new 1,500-foot-long breakwater structure, while a water skier carves perfect turns. Uh, we came up to ski in the calm water at the north end. <laughs> I have a friend in here from France and he used to ski professionally and we got to do that today. Hill is the owner of Hills Resort, a popular lodging, dining and boating destination on the west shore of Priest Lake. He's one of many Priest Lakers who are quite pleased with the newly constructed breakwater feature built last winter. The deepened thoroughfare channel provides clear access for all types of boats to reach Upper Priest Lake now. They put this in in no time at all. I think, you know, once they staged all the rocks, they were able to get in and out of here in three months. It was spectacular how, how well that went. They did a fantastic job. It, we don't feel like it could have come out any better. Priest Lake is one of the most scenic and popular lakes in the state of Idaho. It's a prized tourism asset and much adored place for locals to play in the Idaho Panhandle. In the last year, the Idaho Water Resource Board has invested $5 million in the Priest Lake Improvement Project to create a new permanent breakwater structure deepen the thoroughfare channel, and add six inches of height to the outlet dam. The new dam height will allow the state to hold the lake a little higher during the recreation season in dry years, in order to maintain the lake levels at full pool. State law requires the Idaho Department of Water Resources to maintain Priest Lake at full pool for lake and dock access during the recreational season. Construction work on the outlet dam will occur in the winter of 2021 to 2022. Due to limited water supplies in drought years like 2015, it has been difficult to maintain required lake levels during the recreation season. That prompted the Idaho Water Resource Board to do a $300,000 study on Priest Lake water management. Locals lobbied the board to explore a long-term solution for the breakwater and thoroughfare as part of the study. In the mid-90s to when I came to work for Bonner County in 2015, the breakwater went from poor to bad to worse over those 20 years and was truly in a total state of disrepair by 2015. Sediment was plugging the thoroughfare channel, and the aging breakwater structure was failing to keep the channel open. Well, the last probably six, seven years, there were places you people would get out. They would run their props into the sand, and they had to get out and push their boat, especially at the, at the mouth of where the thoroughfare meets the lake. In my heart, I felt like if we can't go to the upper lake and we can't enjoy this thoroughfare, that, that's like taking a big trip to Yellowstone Park and Old Faithful is closed. <laughs> In 2015, Cox and other Priest Lakers formed the Breakwater Committee and launched a fundraising campaign to save the thoroughfare. When the water board visited Priest Lake, Clatt and the Priest Lakers took them on a boat ride. was really just presenting to them um, the economic force that water is to Bonner County. It's a 20 plus million dollar industry and it rivals the, the uses of water in Southern Idaho and agriculture and the economic impacts and the economic benefits. Dale Van Stone of Hope, a former Bonner County commissioner, had been recently appointed to the water board. 
he understood the vital need for the project. Everybody had a vested interest in getting something done up here. 2015, we had the low water year. We knew we had to do something different with the outlet dam and try to improve it. And Steve Klatt was working on uh, trying to get something done with the thoroughfare. We just, everybody combined their efforts and uh, made it happen. Taking water board members on the boat ride was key, according to former state senator Sean Keogh. Once we were able to get them out on the lake and up into the thoroughfare and to Upper Priest Lake, um, it, that was the best thing we could have done. And once they saw it, they understood their role and what their role could be. As the co-chair of the legislature's budget committee, Keo was in a unique position to push for the project in the state house. Been supportive and understood the need of Southern Water Issues, uh, and worked closely with uh, folks like Senator Bear and Speaker Scott Bedke uh, over the years on the water issues that were important to them. And being able to explain how our Northern Water Issues tied into the state as a whole. Um, they became very supportive. Keogh and the Idaho Legislature approved $5 million for the Priest Lake Water Management Project. Save the Thoroughfare provided $155,000 and Bonner County and the Lakes Commission chipped in for a total of $250,000 in local matching funds. And I was so surprised at the response that we got contributions from Maine to Southern California. It was definitely um, a great accomplishment of the whole group of folks that worked on it. Uh, it was great to have that support from the legislators and the governor's office and the Department of Water Resources and the board. Strider Construction was the low bidder on the project. The water board hired Mott McDonald to serve as construction manager. First step, they removed 9,500 cubic yards of sediment from the thoroughfare channel to create a new water depth of five feet at full pool. Then, Strider built the breakwater structure in four layers, starting at the bottom with geotextile fabric and a one-foot layer of bedding stone four feet of armor stone in the middle, and the whole structure is topped with a five-foot layer of rock boulders. The height of the breakwater is eight to 10 feet, but it doesn't block the view for thoroughfare property owners in Sandpiper Shores. The new natural rock wall is phenomenal. I mean, the Sandpiper Shores Owners Association is really pleased with how the agencies collaborated with us to maintain our, our views and maintain a really aesthetic visual functioning uh, uh, breakwater. Extra sand from the dredging project created a new beach on the lakeside of the breakwater, a new amenity for boaters to enjoy. Once the height of the outlet gates are extended this winter, IDWR will have the ability to store extra water in Priest Lake to maintain required lake levels in dry years. In the meantime, everyone visiting Priest Lake is enjoying the new thoroughfare channel and visiting Upper Priest Lake. We had a partnership that, in my experience of 50 years in being involved in Idaho politics and Bonner County politics, is truly unique. I've never seen a project that had that kind of cooperative, cohesive partnershiping that was done on this thing. I've never seen the like of it. It's been great. Priest Lake has got a, almost a magical hold on people's hearts. This is remarkable. 